this. Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to? Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting? Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, 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 you want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell, why not? All right, then. Up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite people. <laughs> Nowhere near. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. Yeah, that's it. Give them hell. Shoot another one. <laughs> no more reality TV. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy day, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. I have three speeds. On, off, and don't push your luck. So, what now? We are gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Ain't she a beauty? Drives like a dream. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. If you keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. Here we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with a moving target. This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. slower than molasses on a cold day. Hellfire, Trevor, you ain't rushing this, are you? Suck my pecker! Anybody can paint the body work. What? Seen that before. Go for the tires, not the car. Come on. Gotta show them sometimes you ain't a slave to the system. Nice. Go on one more, just for the hell of it. I never knew you were such an agitator, Cletus. That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. That ain't right. There'll be time for coyotes later. Looks like maybe you could use some more practice. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me.
Don't get your panties in the wall now. Hellfire! We'll get a better shot from up here. Uh. Don't aim at something you ain't prepared to kill. Hell no! See him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. Ha! Sing to me now, song dog! And another! Don't let him get the jump on you, Trevor. Damn, you're shaking like a dog pooping peach pits. You're just spooking him. Gotta line him up good. Don't let him get the jump on you, Trevor. Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. Sandy Shores. That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Ah, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. Speedophile Personal Watercraft Racing Champion and All San Andreas Barbecue Sauce Manufacturer of the Year, 1997, 2000, 2003, and Ruminant Fertility Guru. Dwayne Earl. Well, you stepped in it again. Another episode of Beyond Insemination, the show that breaks down complex life issues and turns them into easy to understand analogies of lust murder and parenthood in the animal kingdom okay okay what track are we going to start the show off with today how about this one makes you feel like you're in your own goddamn movie huh my movie would be called Blade oh, you should have run away
There you are, handsome. No, Maud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. Warm-blooded mammals to fierce fighting reptiles, endotherms to ectotherms, we have the lot. Believe me, I have been humbled by many beasts in my time, but life is, after all, a journey. Ah! One of the central tenets of this show is education through nature. There are animals in nature, such as lizards, that specialize in a sit-and-wait hunting strategy, and they wait for their prey to come to them. Now, this is a technique that I utilized myself. Just last week, I... Show. We're here to talk about animal husbandry and the pleasures available only to the men's species. Relationships is not something I have any great insight into. When she calls it a relationship, it's time to skip town. Ah! Am I right, fellas? Anytime. chicks, but now you took that well. Gracias. See ya. 
What up? Ready for a rad tat? That's a good one. That's art right there. I cover up crappy tattoos too. Yep, looks good. No refunds. That's a masterpiece. I'm good. I've done all these a hundred times. I'm good at it. Tell your friends where you got that. Check out my work. People say I'm undiscovered. Your body is a canvas. Fix them up. Right on, enjoy that. You know, you're not much of a bleeder. Can't go wrong with any of these. Be good. Out of my way. Uh. Oh. Oh. What do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm sorry. That's right. Just stay away. Listen, nobody likes you. Die, Whatever. Asshole. Go and fuck yourself. I'll kick. Come on. Fuck. Oh. Make me suffer. Yeah, you dickhead. shit or one dumb ignorant white trash hillbilly Wallace <laughs> you're damn right <laughs> Chang spreadsheet let's head outside and talk terms la, 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 la. <laughs> Quite the end. gentlemen I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight and I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier 
In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn axe. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 <laughs> the O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you... got you inbred freaks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse.
Fuck him! Oh, fuck me! Fuck me! It's Philip! You in our house! Take over time! Get that motherfucker out the house! Let's see if we can't cut you down to size. Take hey. five! What's left when I'm done? Sorry, pal. And all the regulations that the state uses to suppress Americans. Mm. Welcome, Miss Biles Carmichael. Yes, thank you, and you're welcome. <laughs> so lovely to be here. So, what does your think tank do? Do you drive it around, or is it like a pool? No, no, Ron. Not exactly. We are a group of thought leaders. Back here. You're not even hidden. Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townley living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I looked through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, 
Uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, <laughs> so, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! We need a ride. Now, but it is cheaper than ever. Smoking. Did you know doctors used to say smoking was good for you? That's sort of how I feel about climate change. Y2K, people, bullshit. I knew it. I knew Y2K was bullshit. Yeah. I knew, I knew that. I just hope that no, broke your goddamn neck.
close, here we come. That go okay? I heard like a banging and screaming, but then not, not the nice kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Or let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him, the federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mindfuck. Yeah, well, I'll show you a fucking mindfuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, P. Trevor? Lube up your eye hole, fucker, because I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? Get the fuck out of here and go dig yourself a grave. Uh, uh, pl please, Trevor. I, I thought you wanted to meet Cousin Floyd. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. What? Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr Tr uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent. Charisma and guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. Can he become a baseball player? No, he shouldn't, because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Right there, Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. Oh, get you get, get you get. We're not public radio. We don't do pledge drives. So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. And I'm not gonna let you tell me this flight is full. I'm not gonna do it, Sheriff. I'm not gonna let you offer me $300 to get on the next available flight. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. Huh? It's been nearly ten years, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Well, I don't live here. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's Vespucci Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? 
Floyd's over in Vifuci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a... Pollution, but I don't give a crap. Had a stick accident like, like I had once. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all... Beach, where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a had a stick accident, like like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. It was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable, grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver tongue. Cousin Floyd don't live here. Ah, shit. Ah! Oh my god! And just then, just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike! Michelle! A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob his shops and no! and inns and such. Then he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? Oh, this car's gonna be parked oh. outside your oh. house. We're near Floyd Castle. I seen it on Icon Maps. I'll give you directions. Just straight over this one. I turn right here. It's straight here. This is the place. I think it is, at least. Even better, doing it to some punk who thinks he knows more about Cousin Floyd. Come up here, Trevor. Floyd, it's me, Way. Who? Me, Wade, your cousin. Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you, Wade. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere. Here, he's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy would never prove. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. All right. Fuck. 